Bray Wyatt. Yeah, finally returned. The long-awaited return of Bray Wyatt. We saw all these vignettes. We saw all these uh, immersive, augmented reality clues happening. Uh, before before we go into what happened, I just want to tell you, a lot of people are annoyed with the Bray Wyatt gimmick, right? They're, they're annoyed by this. It's too spooky nonsense. It's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, television stuff going on. Do you know who freaking loves this? Who? My kids. Yeah. Do you know who else? Dude, this is... All their who? friends. All yeah. their friends. My, so my, my son is in kindergarten. My daughter is in first grade. Obviously, wrestling has gone on in this house forever. Uh, they, they are not wrestling fans. However, they are big Bray Wyatt fans. They absolutely love Bray Wyatt. All their friends are really into this, too. I... I, I, you know, I like to see that because sometimes, like, we're in this void of like overanalyzing all this nonsense. Man, you know, you want to build a, you want to build a following, you want to build a new yeah. audience, which they really, they, they are in the process of building a, an audience again. This is how you do it. You get, you, you know, set five years old, fifth, uh, you know, five years old, six years old, seven years old, eight years old. This is when you g get a hold of these kids, and then now they're lifelong wrestling fans. You know, think about the stupid stuff that we liked. A giant Dude, the Undertaker. hot dog man with, 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 in yellow. <laughs> uh, a crazy face-painted muscle guy shaking the ropes and just snarling. The, uh, an undead cowboy. So this is all, I mean, you, you know, you kind of look parallel booking. I don't know, you know. I don't know how much Barry Wide compares to The Undertaker in 1991. But this does do something. And what it's doing is it's capturing an audience that normally would just channel surf or, or skip it. My daughter this morning went on YouTube in the living room and found it because she wanted to see what happened. That's the job to sell tickets, to sell views, to get eyes. Wrestling is not just for us white dudes in their mid thirties. I'm sorry, Andrew, you're 26. But for <laughs> the one thing that I think we lose sight on, is that the WWE is the biggest tent in the neighborhood. They're drawing, they're yeah. trying to get everybody in the tent. And speaking as a promoter, I can't, every match can't be what I want in wrestling. No, it can't listen, because I'm not, I, you want I'm my, not selling you, tickets to me. I'm selling tickets to people. Like listen, you're, I, you're not, finding an audience. I don't hide what I like, right? Yeah. I, like, Okay, this is I mean, uh, this is fine. Like, I get it. I totally get it. Is this my wrestling? No, my you know I I generally like wrestling. So AEW uh, at times appeals way more to me than WWE, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you got you got to fill in the blanks here, and you gotta you gotta grow an audience, and you gotta try different things, and they're doing something different here. So after the fight pit match, the lights go out. Michael Cole does his. Uh, wonderful. By the way, the the logo show ending has finally arrived on the main roster. I was gonna. That say. is the most valuable signing from NXT. <laughs> that that the the sign the sign off logo at the end. The most Triple valuable H hold, shaking. They're doing the Triple H photo with the Chiron guy. <laughs> <laughs> the Chiron, yeah. Triple H. Someone needs to do that. A Triple H shake photo, but it's just the Chiron that says, you know, WWE. You know, it's the, the the copyright 2022. Uh, they do they do the sign off. Michael Cole does his best. We're off the air, right? There's nothing happening here, and you hear Bray's voice. He's singing. I got the whole world in my hands. Then they do a spotlight. The puppets have come alive. Abby the witch. Uh, Huskis the pig. Mercy the buzzard. Mercy the buzzard. Uh, 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 Clarence the bunny. No, uh, no. <laughs> uh, James the marsupial. <laughs> Sally the snail. <laughs> Griffin the giraffe. Rodrigo the badger. Rodrigo the badger. So they all show up, right? The live puppets show up. They show an image of the Funhouse, the Firefly yeah. Funhouse, and it's like the upside down. Great timing, by the way, with Halloween and, and, and mm -hmm. the Stranger Things stuff and the, the uh, augmented reality game that they did. Very much tied into modernization of, I guess, you know, spookiness. And I thought, by the way, I thought that they did a great job top to bottom. This was the, 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 the most um, contuit, I guess, 
Intuitive? No. Um, yeah, Intuitive. Intuitive. That works. Uh, uh, that works. A process that they've had with, when it comes to like a v reveal, right? That Jericho, the save us Y2J thing, this was yeah. it on steroids. And they did a great job. Here comes, you, you see the Firefly Funhouse. The, the, the puppets are dead. You know, they're covered in cobwebs. And there's a door at the entrance and the door opens. And here comes Bray in, his, in a new mask. And he takes the mask off. And he says something. I forgot what he said. And he blows out the candle. And then they do that crazy thing. And his logo's yeah. upside down. This is his logo. Ready? Right? Isn't that the logo? <laughs> it's upside down. I think it's uh, a dead fly or it's something. It's a dead whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, listen. They did it. Yeah. It was over like crazy in Philadelphia. That crowd ate it up. And now the big question is. What do you do tomorrow? Yeah. Um, I have one issue with it. I wish they use feet. I wish they use white rabbit. Like, uh, yeah. I wish right. that, that. I know. I know they were able to do it in the house, but they're spending so much money on Metallica songs. Like, throw Grace Slick some cash. Listen, uh, Hunter's uh, a big Metallica fan. What do you want? So am I. I love Metallica, not but if. <laughs> He's I not into like... the hippy dippy stuff of Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, all right. Well, maybe maybe it's because they maybe because their star people at Jefferson Starship are fans Jefferson, of Jefferson of AEW Starship. There you go. Because, what did I say? Jefferson because they Airplane? gave AEW the right. No, no, no. It's, they were five different band names. We don't need to go into the yeah. etymology okay. of Jefferson Airplane Starship, what have you. Uh, they did the uh, Orange Cassidy's theme song, so there might be that might be where the Wednesday Night Raw Wars really went between Starship and uh, possibly an airplane. They want but it, yeah. I, I don't know where you go from here because he just showed up. That was the thing I was thinking about heading into this pay-per-view is he's going to come out in the last segment, but it's not going to be Seth. Can't be Riddle. Who the hell is he going to feud with? Who the hell is he going to feud with? 